So why did D.W. Griffith, the great film producer, director, actor, in his epic film, The Birth of a Nation, quote, Woodrow Wilson. And the quote is in front of you. Now, the film The Birth of a Nation is considered to be the greatest racist film ever made. And D.W. Griffith is considered to be one of the leading uh, film directors that paved the way for the movie industry. So why was this true? Sorry about that. These things happen to me. <laughs> uh, why was it true that D.W. Griffith would cite Woodrow Wilson in his movie? Now, we're also told that when uh, the movie came out, The Birth of a Nation, there was a special screening at the White House. And at that special screening, Wilson will proclaim that it's like writing history with lightning because it's all true. The 1915 film, Birth of a Nation, and Woodrow Wilson. Why is it that President Woodrow Wilson will agree with David Wark Griffith why does there seem to be an agreement between D.W. Griffith and Woodrow Wilson and Woodrow Wilson and D.W. Griffith? Well, as you might anticipate what I'm about to tell you, and that is, it's because they are one and the same. That's right. You guessed it. D.W. Griffith will play Woodrow Wilson. So bear with me here as I get set to take you to the pick try if. Now this is my highest match, Woodrow Wilson on the left, D.W. Griffith on the right, 81%. Now that's my highest match. All the other uh, attempts to make the comparison are not as high, but they're good, they're excellent. But we're going to start out with the highest match. Woodrow Wilson is played by D.W. Griffith. Now, D.W. Griffith uh, did some acting, so it's not as if he's just simply a movie uh, director. He started out in acting, so he does have acting abilities, and he used them quite well to portray this character called Woodrow Wilson, who uh, was governor and also president of Princeton. Just a fictional character, Woodrow Wilson. But the actual individual that will play Woodrow Wilson in history is D.W. Griffith. So here's some other matches for you. 
Okay, Wilson on the left, Griffith on the right, 62%. Wilson on the left, Griffith on the right, 62%. They all turn out pretty good in terms of the uh, statistics. 55%, 66%, and notice what I did. I tried to keep the same image of Wilson for a few of them. So the same image of Wilson on the left with a new image of Griffith on the right. The constant is on the left, Wilson. Now there's where I changed the Wilson image on the left to a new Wilson image but retaining the same Oh, no, that one's different, excuse me. There, there's where I got the highest. Notice the uh, Wilson image on the left is the same as this one. And it still comes up 62%. But there's my highest match. And having used this meter, if you are doing like I'm doing and using the meter, and you go into 80%, it's an absolute definite, all right? Now remember, Griffith has had acting abilities and also had at his availability all the techniques of makeup and use of mask, prosthetics, whatever, to play Woodrow Wilson in history. So back to my original uh, uh, curiosity. Why is it that filmmaker D.W. Griffith would include citations of Woodrow Wilson in his film, Birth of a Nation? And then why is it that at a special screening of Birth of a Nation at the White House that Woodrow Wilson will exclaim, it's like writing history with lightning. Well, why is it true? Well, it's true because D.W. Griffith on the right there will play in history, hoax history Woodrow Wilson now listen all presidents are fakes and I don't care what president you cite for me eventually we'll find out who played that president? They're all fakes. Because we, the dwellers in the land called America, we live in a fantasy world. The fantasy world was intentionally created so that we would not know the actual truth of the matter. Well, I'm attempting in my life to capture some truths and I hope to make a very small contribution to this effort of finding truth in this fantasy world. Woodrow Wilson was played by D.W. Griffith, the great film director in the early era of film, the era of silent film, and the one who gave the world the birth of a nation, and later a sequel follow-up called Intolerance. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. End of video.